two British cyclists embarking on a journey to raise funds for charity stand on the cusp of history after riding 11,000 kilometers across Europe and Africa. James Davis and Emily Conrad yesterday made it past halfway their journey when they reached the Pearl of Africa. Later, they will cycle to the towns of Port Porto and Kabale before heading to Tanzania and later South Africa. So it, it, it's been, been a fantastic journey so far and we know that we've got a lot more to look forward to as well. Though they have covered quite some ground, Emily says it has not been a walk in the park. Um, I found it very hard cycling in the heat um, and the hills, but at the same time we found in almost every country people have really, really gone out of their way to help us. Um, I think people see two, two white people on bicycles and think, you know, are they crazy? For anyone to take on such a swashbuckling adventure, it takes a lot of courage and determination. Uh, back home I, I spent a lot of time training, I was a lot of long, long distance triathlon, I felt I was very fit and I thought this won't be that bad, we'll just be going slowly. For instance, in Ethiopia, the two Britons experienced a culture shock from the strange behaviour of children. find it an amusing game to throw rocks <laughs> at cyclists. So um, it's not just us, the local cycling teams that, that we met in Ethiopia have the same issue. Um, so we had, had to have our wits about us. The cyclists also worry about the perilous journey and riding through the game parks where wild animals could be lacking. We, 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 hope, we hope we're going to be safe. <laughs>